Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we are going to learn five new transitions and easy transition which you can make without any hassle. So as you can see on my screen, I have these five clips which are just jump cut. They have only jump cuts as you can see there. So we have to make five transitions for every cut. So let's start with the first transition. The first transition is go to the effects console panel and there you find video transitions and then wipe. Go there, there you can see. So as you can see the transition name is barn doors. So these are very simple transition and which help you to make cinematic video. As you can see we can use this transition at the start or the end of a clip. So as you can see these are the doors type transition but if you want it to be horizontal so for that what you have to do is just click on the transition go to the effects console panel and there you click on this as you can see the doors are now horizontal now if you want to increase or decrease the speed of it so it looks more cinematic so just zoom in and uh, increase or increase the length or decrease the speed of the transition as you can see now like this now it looks more cinematic now we head start in the end of the clip where we also put this transition and let's play as you can see this transition is different so what we do is we just go to the effects control panel and click on inverted and as you can see it is now look perfect now as you can see what we have done later just do that and it will now be horizontal that's it okay so this is our first transition and it's very simple and effective transition you can do with your videos now let's head towards our second transition as you can see here this is a jump cut so we have to make a transition so what i do is just go to the effects panel and there you find or you can type dip to white and if you don't want to type just type dip to white and there you can see in the transition option this is dip to white just drag and drop to the start of this video as you can see now it's a white dip to white as the name suggests it will create a white layer and it will transition in the next video so what we have to do is we just go to the effects panel click on that and increase it by that layer also so it will give a perfect transition like this uh, now what I do is I'll decrease the speed of this transition so it looks more like blip not like zzz, okay so we de decrease the length of transition like this now if we play so it will like a blip just like this okay so it looks much better than that for this view now let's that's it for the second transition now heads towards the third transition which is a kind of tricky one so what we have to do is first we just place this video file onto the first layer like this for the transition what we have to do is just go to the effects panel and type the strobe light effect okay and uh, there as you can see there is a strobe light so just drag and drop to the second layer and as you can see the portion where the under layer is visible it will be created into white portion so as I go to the next layer, it will done it perfect. So now go to the effects control panel. There you find the strobe light option. And what you have to do is just increase the strobe distort or blend original to 0, 0% 0 and strobe distortion would be 0 0.10 and strobe period will be 0 0.2 seconds to 0 seconds. Okay. Now what we have to click on the color. You can choose any color or if you don't want to choose, don't choose. You can use it as blending mode, different modes like this. You can choose, change the color of the picture or make new effects. But this is not what we have to do for transition. 
we do for transition is what we have to do for transition is just click on this and do this okay so our under layer is visible and as you can see it will create a beat effect which you can use in different videos or in making different beats now click on that and cut and delete that strobe light effect in the next and then play the video just like this okay so that's our third transition it's a simple transition you can use it anywhere for beats now let's head towards our fourth transition for that what we have to do is just put the first layer under the second layer and go to the effects panel and there you have to search gradient wipe okay just type gradient wipe and there you see the effect just drag and drop to the first layer and go to the effects control panel there you can see gradient wipe option now what you have to do is you have to make keyframes as you can see there is no difference so as you increase or decrease the percentage it will increase or decrease the transition now make a keyframe to first zero and in the end will be 100 100 keyframe one zero zero okay now it will make a perfect transition like this it uses shadows and highlights of a video to invert it as you can see sometimes it uses shadow and sometimes it uses the highlight now if you go to the softness you will increase or decrease the softness i generally took 20 in that so it looks perfect so as you can see this is our fourth transition and let's head towards our final transition so we just put this video here and uh, let's see this is a jump cut and we have to make a transition this is a kind of glitch transition what you have to do make an adjustment layer and just drag and drop onto the two clips where the jump cut is here and just decrease the size of uh, the adjustment layer and go to the effects console panel and there you type the wave warp transition just drag or drop to the adjustment layer you have to drop this transition onto the adjustment layer as you can see there is our wave types okay so different types of waves now what you have to do is go to the effects control panel there you find wave warp and there are so many types like triangle square i don't know who use these kind of thing but now we use the noise option and you increase the intensity like this increase the height or you increase the width so we will get a glitch effect type of thing now as you can see we have to remove this black borders okay so for that what we have to do is pinning all edges and uh, now just increase or decrease make a perfect uh, portion where you can see there are less black portion here are the very less black portion you can rotate also this i rotate this like this now you can increase or decrease the speed also now let's see what our transition looks like let's start okay so that looks amazing we i'll just decrease the length so it will be a quick transition like this okay so that's it for the fifth transition let's see you can also increase or decrease the size of it if you want now once again let's play our final product And if you like this video then make sure you hit the like button and if you love this video then make sure you hit the subscribe button and if you don't understand anything just put the comment in the comment section i will surely reply on them and uh, yes if you done it then goodbye see you in the next video bye bye